You know what? We can decorate that last batch of cupcakes when we get back. Hey, I just got another call about that kid's birthday party. You got it, boss. You see, this is exactly what's wrong with the world. What's wrong? What's wrong? What are you blind? Can't you see? It's disgusting. Two women should not be getting married. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? Excuse me. Oh, can I help you? Yeah, I have a business here in this center, and I couldn't help but notice. What's going on in here? I know. Aren't they the most stunning couple you've ever seen? Well, stunning is not exactly the word I had in mind. Uh Uh, Trey, shouldn't we? Nobody wants to see a gay couple picking up clothes. Clothes for a wedding. Excuse me? Well, look at you. How ridiculous. Aren't you embarrassed? You should be ashamed of yourself. Women don't wear tuxedos. Wow. And I don't need you bringing your little pride parade into my neighborhood, scaring away my customers. You know, it's really none of our business. They're just trying to shop like everyone else. They are not like everyone else. Okay, that's I need to ask you to leave. You want me to leave? You're the one that supports. Putting people like them. I'm serious. Out. You know it's wrong. I'll call security. Yeah, come on, Kristen. I'm really sorry about my boss. I think you guys look great. I'm terribly sorry. It's okay. April, hi. hi. I'm all ready for you. Here you yeah. Have a good one. Bye. Hey, Sam. So great seeing you. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> Thanks. The price of a wild is food juice has been down to two fifty nine. Oh my god, are you Kyla Velvet? I am such a huge fan. <laughs> well, aren't you a dear? 
<laughs> What's your name, little lady? Kristen. Oh, is there anything I can help you with? Sure is. I'm having a huge party after my next show and was looking for a place to cater the dessert. Well, you came to the right place. <laughs> oh, these cupcakes look amazing. I bet the owner spends a lot Out of time on these. No, actually, I made those ones myself. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. You're so talented. Thank you. You should open your own shop. Oh, that is the plan. I just, my boss has been in business forever, and I just don't think it's that easy, you know? Of course it is. My mother always told me, if you stand up for what you believe in, you'll always win in the end. And that advice has always helped me. Besides. I'd buy from you. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Unfortunately, I need this job to pay my rent, so... Anyway, do you want to try a sample? Oh, I'd love to. How about... Hmm. Hey, Christian, the delivery guy... Can I show up? Oh yeah, it's in the back. Oh great. Okay, what's going on here? I'm trying to place an order. Is there a problem? Yeah, there's a problem. You're the problem. Now go take your business somewhere else. Because we don't serve your kind of people in here. Trey, do you have any idea who sh I got it, honey. My people. Just because I'm different doesn't mean I'm not equal. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Look at you. You're a freak! Well... Kristen here doesn't seem to think so. You support a circus clown like him? Her? It's her. A and, and yes, I do. Never mind. I don't have time for this. Just do me a favor and get out of my store. This is ridiculous. You're rid ridiculous. Now leave. Kyla. I will wait, I, I think... How could you treat her like that? You listen to me. From now on... I don't want you to even...
about serving people like that. Do you understand me? We clear? Hello, sir. Welcome. to my shop. These were just freshly baked, real nice individual cakes. I know you'd like them. I can try them. Hey! Hi. I'm here to pick up an order for a bridal shower. It should be under Alex. Okay, one second. I'll grab it for you. Thank you. Do you see those Republic cupcakes? I did. They look so good. <laughs> I'm sure you're excited. Yes. Wait a minute. I know you two from somewhere. I got it. You were the couple in the wedding store. And you're the man that interrupted our fitting. Yep. And what are you doing in my bakery? All right. Alex, uh, 25 specialty cupcakes. Hello, Thank whoa, you. stop, put that down. Wow. What do you mean? This is their we don't serve people like them in here. You've got to be kidding me. Do I look like I'm kidding? We don't support this. It's wrong. Okay, I don't see how our love life is any of your business. Besides, we already paid for the order. Isn't that too bad? Trey, if they already paid for it, Right, you kind of have to give it to them. You stay out of this, Kristen. I'm just saying it's not the 1950s anymore. Right. We need these today. Otherwise, trust me, we would have no problem taking our business elsewhere. Yeah, the last thing we want to do is be buying from you. What? Okay. You want your cupcakes? Here's your cookies, now go get Hey man! What is your problem? I don't have a problem, it's you two that need help! <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Come on, babe. Forget this guy. I'd rather have no desserts than bear one more minute with you. How many times have I told you we don't serve people like that in here? It is not okay how you treated them. What's wrong with them buying some cupcakes? They're for a bridal shower for a gay wedding. Whose side are you on, Kristen? Theirs. You really want to do this? There is nothing wrong with being gay, lesbian, trans, or any other part of
the LGBTQIA plus community. I can't believe you would support that kind of behavior. I don't just support it. I'm part of the community. You take that off. Take it off right now, I swear to God. If you don't take that off right now, you're fired. You know what? You can't fire me because I quit. My only regret is not doing this a long time ago. You know what? I'm gonna open my own bakery and be way more successful than you. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I've been here 20 years. I'd like to see you try. Okay. Kristen quits her job, nervous but also excited to start her baking business. Within a couple days, she comes up with a business name and starts marketing on Facebook to let all her friends know. To save money, she uses her own kitchen to run her business. At first, everything seems to be going great. Her family and friends place orders to support her. But over time, that excitement dies down. She finds herself going weeks without a single order. Before long, bills start piling up. Kristen starts to stress and comes to realize her business may not work out. Eventually, she gives up on her dream and starts to look for a job. Hi. Oh, hi. How are you? Good. Can, can I help you? Yeah, I was just wondering if there's any chance you're hiring. Unfortunately, we're not. That's okay. I'm sorry. Thanks for your time. No worries. Look who it is. Let me guess. Looking for a new job, right? What do you want, Trey? Nothing. I just wanted to see how that new business idea of yours worked out, but I guess that resume tells me everything I need to know, little miss. I want to be a successful baker.
<laughs> Do you feel better about yourself? I don't want to lie. A little. I had no idea that you would fail. What a shock. I didn't even offer you a job, but hey. I would rather go homeless than ever work for you again. Oh. You really not. How to hurt my feelings. Well, let me tell you something. You go homeless, don't worry. Because I will find you. And I'll bring you a cupcake so you don't starve to death. Good luck job hunting. Hi, darling. Aren't you that girl from the bakery? Hi, hi. Yeah, I don't work there anymore, though. Oh, thank goodness. That man was a monster. Yeah. I am so sorry again for how he treated you. I, I feel terrible for not standing up for you more. I definitely should have. <laughs> Especially since we're from the same community. Don't apologize. You did the best you could. Please tell me you started your own business like we talked about. I did, but it already failed. So looking for work if you know anyone who's hiring. It hasn't even been that long. How'd you market your business? I posted on Facebook and Instagram. I told my friends and family. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Did you do any target marketing? Focus on any specific niche? What do you mean? <laughs> well, our community loves to support LGBTQ plus owners, especially since, as you've seen, some businesses aren't always the most friendly to our people. Why don't you focus on serving our community? I 
didn't think about that. But I don't know, I really can't afford to fail again though. I'm almost out of cash as it is. Do you really think I can succeed? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I know so. <laughs> <laughs> because as I told you, when you stand up for what you believe in, you always win in the end. You're right. I should have been focused on serving our community from the first place. <laughs> Maybe I will give it another shot. Great. Because, you know, I'm looking for someone to cater my party next week. And the timing works out perfectly, so what's your business called? It was Kristen's Crafts. How about Chris? Inclusive crafts. Now that has a nice ring to it. It really does. <laughs> well, I'd love to be your first customer. Take my number down. so I can place my order. I'll even help you promote your business to all my followers. I've seen your work. I know how good it is. Seriously, that would be amazing. Oh my god, your lifesaver. Uh, what, what's your number? All right. Kristen's once again excited to go after her dream.
and this time decides to focus on a niche. She's amazed as to how much support she starts to receive. It doesn't take her long to get more referrals from her own community. Unity and her brand quickly starts to grow. As more people hear about Kristen's inclusive crafts, she starts to get orders all over town. Each person she meets ends up referring her to even more people. As Kristen's business starts to go uphill, the baker's business starts to go downhill. He gets flooded with negative reviews from the LGBTQ plus community and many people refuse to buy from him. And then a few months later, Kristen becomes so successful that she decides to open up her own bakery. And this place has an amazing commercial kitchen. <laughs> so it didn't quite much work for you to get you up and running. Yeah, I'm actually pretty familiar with this spot. I'm ready to place the deposit. Really? Yeah. Wow, uh, that was fast. Uh, let me go and get the lease agreement and we'll get you going. What are you doing here? Hi, Trey. I suppose you came to beg for your old job back. <laughs> Hardly. I'm actually showing you this place for rent. Really? Well, this place is not for lease. Come on, Trey, we've been through this. If you can't pay, you can't keep the spot. We've given you more than enough chances. It's not my fault business is down. The whole economy's down. It's not just me. I don't know about that. Christian runs her own bakery, and her business seems to be booming. In fact, she decided to put a pause down in this space. You? I thought you shut down. Wait a minute. Are you the one responsible for all those bad reviews I got and now no one will come in my store? Trey, as much as you deserve those bad reviews, I wasn't the one behind them. Well, if it wasn't you, then who was it? We may have had something to do with that. Yeah, sorry, but not sorry. <laughs> Maybe if you learned treat people a little better, you wouldn't be going through this right now. I mean, you should know. Our community is very outspoken. And as I've learned, we like to stick together. Yeah. Ugh. You all make me sick. Oh. Okay. Thank you for having my back. Always. <laughs> I love how much you all support each other. So are they the reason for your success? 
Pretty much, because as someone once told me, if you stand up for what you believe in, you always win in the end. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'll get the least two right away. Thanks. Yes. But I may add one extra condition in there. What? Is that? I gotta try some of your delicious cupcakes <laughs> I'm gonna buy online. <laughs> your reviews are amazing. I think I can make that happen. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Frank the Prankster, and in today's video, we are going to be doing another crazy. Life is full of things to worry about. All right, no surprises here. It looks like Brent Jacobson is the clear winner. With the most red flags captured. And I'm still undefeated. <laughs> oh, I'm a beast, baby. There you have it, folks. Brent Jacobson is the Beast Mode Kids champion. Until somebody beats him. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, I've been on the show for six years. No one can beat me. <laughs> I really hope someone does. Uh, oh, 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 and, and don't forget. Check out the new season of My Dog Ate My Homework coming next month right here on the Kids Network. Woo! And cut. Woo! Hey, no one likes sore losers, guys. Just to hear your man boy. Yeah. Hey, Brent, great job. Again, for the 100th time. Yup, thanks, man. Well, luckily I never get tired of winning. <laughs> and I'll be back next week to defend my title. Yeah, about that. We've been getting some feedback from our audience, and they're kind of tired of seeing you win every week. They think it makes it unfair to the other competitors. What? It's not my fault I win every time. I mean, honestly, so the kids need to step up their game. <laughs> but you're 18, Brent. You've kind of got an advantage. Plus, you've done the course so many times, you could probably win in your sleep. Hey, man, the rules are what they are, all right? Don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> rules are what they are, right? Yeah. Rules, yeah, we gotta abide by those rules. Yeah, that's why our showrunners have written another rule. What? Effective today, winners can no longer return after winning more than 20 times in a row. So this will be your last appearance on Beast Mode Kids. Wait, are you you're kidding me, right? No. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous? What? Look, I'm sorry, Brent. But maybe it's time to let some of the other kids win for once. What? Hey, at least you got your other show, right? No, listen. You guys are making a huge mistake. I'm the reason why everyone watches this show. <laughs> oh, at least we got the flag.